make sure that you always be investing in yourself. Guys, I mean, we all have seven days, but then we do different things within that seven days. We all have 24 hours in a day, but we choose to do different activities within that 24 hours. Now, my question to you is, what you're doing every second, is it leading towards a goal that you want to achieve? Even what if you're doing every second. split second, is it leading to what you want to become one day? Even on a Sunday, we're grinding, we're grinding. Looking for potential customers, we're looking for potential clients that we might be working with in the near future, and we're also looking for more information. It's a Sunday. What an awesome day it has been. I mean, we always talk about investing in yourself, and today was one of those days whereby we attended a powerful, powerful property network seminar and we've got to make new friends. Lebza is all about uh, networking seminars guys. New friends, new money. Inventory is very important guys, especially qualified inventory. That's what we need to, that's what we need to create. Creating that funnel that's going to bring people who will bring quality yeah. to the organization or whatever. Yeah, I mean, like today, what we actually did is that we went around asking questions on the deals that we're actually going to go into. And we saw that we need to actually refine what we actually wanted to talk about as far as structure on the business and personal side. So now as far as taxes and stuff like that. So now in your networking sessions, that's when you're actually going to get those kind of informations. I mean... It would be little nuggets, but now it would be something to expand on, something that will actually build to what you actually know, right? So now that's why we're all, always emphasizing why you actually need to go to your seminar to actually um, refine and actually improve what you actually want to do. Sure. I mean, with refining and also gathering rapport, there's n you can never say that you have... Uh, too much information mm -hmm. there's always something that you can learn from somebody else. and once you invest in people that actually know better that will actually make your journey worthwhile keep tuned no no more. More. Hey there, man. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Give us work and we are there. I mean, Lebza prefers these than stock fails <laughs> so it was quite impactful, it was quite uh Mind blowing. Yeah. The information that we got there, I'm 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 so happy about it because we we got to learn a lot more than we knew. Um, let me give you a quick nugget there. Branding. Make sure that you brand everything of yours, right? Branding. You gotta have that brand. You gotta have that brand. So now what happens with the brand is that when you actually go to the networking sessions, everybody's actually interested in what you're wearing. I mean, if you're wearing a common brand, you just like everybody, right? But now if you have a brand of yours, of yours, right? Mm -hmm. People actually want to know. I don't know how many people actually came to me and asked me, hey man, what are you actually doing? I mean, even when we went in, they thought that we were speakers. So now just make sure that your branding is always there and it's on point. I mean, once you got branding down, that's when you look at your marketing skills. You need to know your inventory. You need to look at the people that you're actually targeting for. How to quickly qualify them within that minute of conversation. And once you qualify them, you need to go for the close. I mean, if someone is coming to you and saying, Hey man, I like the big bird. What are you doing in the big bird? What man, do you normally say to them? Man, I kill, man. I tell them about our two legs. The two legs that you focus on is property investment and financial, financial information, financial literature. Yes. So just make sure that branding, your branding stays out and it sticks out and it's always on point. Once you have your branding intact, make sure that your marketing skills are awesome. You know how to qualify people and then you go for the clothes. That's the big bird.